G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. I'm going to do a very quick video on the money glitch at Jemison New Atlantis. It has been changed, I think. Look, there are a few videos floating around on this one and uh, there is a way to go down and you swim through some water and to be honest, at a low level, you pretty much die every time. Then there's another way, it involves, I will we'll show you the building. There is a door that you can just walk through. Now, I have seen a video of it, but I think the tree has been patched out. Well, it's not showing up on my map anyway, so I'll show you just around here. We're basically heading around the corner past the Gal Bank. We're in the commercial district. I will point that out. Now, up there, there is a door that you can get through. Now, in that video, there was a tree just here. So the tree is not here, and essentially, there is no way to get up. So I will show you the way to get up. We're going to run back to the start again. Alrighty, we're back at the start. This is the commercial district, as I said. You want to turn around and just walk up these stairs. Just run up this way. There probably are a number of different ways to do this. This is the way I found uh, the easiest. Now, I used to be able to run that way and climb up, but they've removed something in there as well. So this pole here, you just want to get really close to it and just jump up on it. Essentially, you're just standing on top of this pole and you're just going to aim for that corner once your boost pack's full again. And climb up this way. All right, we're on this ledge here now. I'm going to come around this way and just jump across this roof and straight across this roof. Now, the easiest way I found is to run on this walk this little uh, ledge here just be careful you don't fall off when you get to the corner here you can jump if you like all right so we're around at this door and through we go just remember to use your jetpack in here all right so we want to just drop down here we just want to head towards the gel bank over here you can see that up there Run down this way. As you can see, there is absolutely no water here. Uh, just as I spoke. There's always a way, isn't it? Maybe if you go up a little bit. Not sure. As you can see, I just dropped down and I didn't lose any health. It's kind of a bit of a strange one. Anyway, where uh, if you run maybe around the corner a little bit, I've run that way a few times. You there is no water that way. Anyway, you're gonna come down this little ledge here, and I'll just show you pause where you can see where I'm going. It's just a little ledge. You're walking down this way. This is on the other video, so if you already know this path, you can skip to the end, I guess. So here you're just going to jump, just use your jetpack and you just want to jump between this little gap here and here we go. Alright so we're just going to run this little chest over here has a very small amount of credits in it but if you're a new player you might as well grab it. As you can see there's 1500, there's a bunch of uh, coffees and food in there if you want them as well. Then you can run around this corner. There is another chest a little bit further around just here and you can see there's 5,000 credits on here now don't worry about the red steel symbol uh, you're not stealing it's uh, well you are stealing but they're not going to catch you because they can't see you so you can take that now the next thing I do here is now ammo doesn't weigh anything as you can see it's mass is zero so I just take all the ammo and obviously if there's anything else in there that you want grab it there's a ton of resources in here as well but you become extremely heavy taking those resources so we're primarily just after the money today head back around this way past the inside of the bar and we are heading down underneath this section over here and you can see the spaceport up there we're heading up this top corner And there is our chest. We have 72,000. So we'll take that. Just to get out, you just basically have to climb back up here. Uh, 
There's a way of doing it. There we go. Just uh, boost up into this area. And now I'm going to show you how to reset that. You probably already know this. So if you do, essentially that is the end of the video. But for those who don't know how to reset, just jump back in your cockpit. Now what you want to do is you want to fly to Sol. And you want to head to Venus. Now, if you, you can land anywhere, it doesn't matter where you land. I already have a landing area here, so I'm just going to fast travel straight there. All right, important when you're here, if you are in your ship, make sure you get out of the ship and stand on the actual planet. You want to re-enter your ship and don't uh, go to the cockpit, just board. All right, you just want to head for any chair in your ship. And you want to wait. Now, as you can see, um, here one hour is 100 hours of UT. So I don't know the exact amount that resets it, but I just sit here for the full 24 hours. It doesn't take long at all. I need a minute or two, and then that will reset the chest. Alrighty, once you have waited the 24 hours, just jump back in your ship and head back to Jemison, and we'll show you that the money is back in the vendor. Okay, we're back at New Atlantis now, and I'll just show you that it has been reset. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying, and here's your new. If you have a look at the section ships for sale, I'm sure you can find something you like. You'll see in the top right-hand corner, he now has seventy-two thousand credits still, and you can essentially rerun what we've just done and grab that seventy-two thousand. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're after more content. And once again, thanks for watching.